Right. What about Hillary? Formidable? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't think anyone would would doubt that. I think she's. Um, I think what we just saw with Carl Rove talking about her health, though, is sort of just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg of what's going to happen with the attacks. Now that on must her. have hit you a certain way because I moderated the debate mm -hmm. between your father and George Bush mm -hmm. in 2000 mm -hmm. in Columbia, South Carolina, and that, that's when all the rave was about your father and a black child, mm -hmm. and that Carl Rove was supposedly behind that. And mm -hmm. Your father had no great love for him. Mm -hmm. Has that changed? No, I hate Karl Rove. And I think he still <laughs> needs to apologize to my family, which he has not done, for the things that happened in 2000. And I think there was an era that Karl Rove was relevant, and I don't know why people st kill, still give him attention. I think in the 2012 election night, when you saw Megyn Kelly, that infamous moment, <laughs> you know, Wait he's just... Wait a minute, just, don't announce it. Yeah, and he was say, telling her that it, he hadn't lost, and she was like, are you just telling this to yourself to make you feel better? Um, yeah, of course it hit me hard on my show, because I have a new nightly show, we discussed it. And, um, you know, I just think there's there are very important ways to talk about Hillary Clinton as a candidate. And in fairness, you, your health is on the table when you run for president, as Chris Christie's health should be on the table if he elects to run for president. And that's a very course, interesting conversation people should have, don't but not in that of, way. You no. don't accuse her of having brain damage. Because she's wearing sunglasses. Knowledge. Yes. I mean. No, it's disgusting.